welcome. My name is Orta Sani, and together we are going to have English classes with the seventh grade. Today we are going to talk about present simple tense, countries and nationalities, and family words. We'll start with countries and nationalities. Uh, we understand the word country and nationality, right? Because we have mentioned this before in previous classes. The country is the place where we come from, right? And nationality is the nation where we uh, belong. For example, America. People who live in America are Americans. UK. People who live in UK are British people. Uh, Greece, people who live in Greece are Greek, and Australia, the country Australia, people who live in Australia are Australians, Japan, Japanese people, Turkey, Turkish people. You can also see the uh, flags in the other side, and you can see some more sentences. For example, I'm bred, I'm American. I'm Kostas, I'm Greek. I'm Shala, I'm from Australia. I'm Alan, I'm from UK. I'm Aki from uh, Japan and Sadik from Turkey. And he is Turkish. We're going to continue with present simple tense. You do remember uh, when we use present simple. We have to keep in mind that we use present simple when we talk about habits. For example, I get up at six every day. I always eat breakfast at home. She exercises twice a week. These are things that we repeat every day, often or usually. We also talk in present simple when we talk about true uh, things that are true uh, for a long time. For example, we live in Paris, she works in the bank, my brother is eight years old. We talk in present simple when we talk about facts, facts that we cannot change. Uh, for example, uh, the sun rises in the east, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, elephants are the largest land-living mammals in the world. These are three facts that we cannot change. We talk in present simple when we talk about future schedules too. For example, the train leaves tonight at nine. English classes begin next week. We fly to Berlin tomorrow. We also have a negative form and question form of the present simple. We'll start with the present simple negatives, negative form. We use the verb do, and in third person singular does, and the word not to make negative sentences. For example, I don't like melons. She doesn't live in Paris. We don't play football anymore. So these are negative sentences in present simple. Present simple questions. We use, again, do or does or third person singular to make questions. For example, do you like melons? Does she live in Paris? Do they play football? We're also going to talk about family words. Do you remember when we talked about family, family members? We also draw a family tree. You can see family words in the screen. So will you try to put these words in the gaps, you've got mother and you've got the F at the second word where you're going to put the word father. You've got sister and in the third gap you're going to put the word brother. You've got aunt and in the fourth gap you're going to put the word uncle. You've got grandmother. In the fifth gap, grandfather. In the other side, you've got nephew. In the sixth gap, you've got niece. We'll continue with wife. In the seventh gap, 
husband. In the other hand, you've got son. And the eighth gap is daughter. You've got stepmother. In the other hand, you've got stepfather. The tenth word should be parents. The eleventh, grandparents. The twelfth, cousin. Once again, you've got the same one, family words, mother, father, sister, brother, aunt, uncle, grandmother, grandfather, niece, nephew, wife, husband, daughter, son, stepmother, stepfather, parents, grandparents, cousin. As homework, you're going to read what John says and then complete the text about him. This is all for today. See you in the next class.